What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. In this episode 259, I'm sorry it's been about four or five days since I posted a video. I promise I'm gonna make it up to you guys this weekend. I have today and tomorrow off, and besides moving and doing some other things I have to do in my personal life and get some writing done, I will try to squeeze out a couple episodes so that I have stuff consistently to post all weekend. So I appreciate you waiting for me. With the free time I had this past week and it being such a stressful week, I pretty much just went right to the Spider-Man game. I wanted to play it and as we got deeper into it, I realized, wow, still no one has spoiled this game for me and I don't want them to. And I'm on Twitter and YouTube every day and I, I get afraid that I'm going to get spoiled. So I figured, you know what, let's just power through the game. So we spent the last like five nights playing the Spider-Man game and you'll be seeing those episodes uploading to the Symbiote stream here on YouTube and back on Twitch very soon. Um, so if you're into watching us play that, please do because it's a lot of fun and there's some great story twists in it and uh, there's even some Venom Easter eggs that we'll talk about in an upcoming episode, but I'll wait till all of my playthrough videos are posted first. So we'll get to that like in a week or two. Uh, but today I actually want to talk about something that someone sent to me on, on Twitter, which is Lance, our friend Enigmatic Vane, and I'm going to put a link to his Twitter account down below. He sent this article from The Hollywood Reporter, so I'll also put a link to this down below. And uh, this is pretty great. This actually gave us some information about the movie that isn't, like, uh, as far as I know, hearsay and everything. Uh, this talks about the budget of the film, which a lot of us have been wondering about for a while now. Uh, this is written by Pamela McClintock, so big shout out to Pamela. Thank you for posting this uh, article about uh, two movies that are coming out the same weekend, October 5th, which is Venom and A Star is Born. Uh, and that actually looks like a pretty decent movie. Um, I think it looks really good. And uh, and so, th but they're two different audiences. So there's no chance that they're going to really steal, you know, viewership from each other, which is also good for Venom uh, in our case, since we're the Venom fans, but also good for that movie because it's projected to make about 28 to 30 million opening weekend. And that's really good. Uh, and then Venom still projected around the 60 to 65 million mark uh, as what they're hoping for, which would make it the, you know, largest opening in, you know, October, whatever. It's like it, everyone loves their little trophies um to me i just want it to do well so we can hopefully get more movies and hopefully it is a good movie so where we all want more movies as well you know on top of all that on top of the financial success um but it says in here actually that uh the venom movie is uh, the superhero pick cost a net 100 million dollars to produce and was financed in part by china's tencent Tencent is actually a multinational corporation that does a lot of things. They have their hands in internet. That's primarily what they do in China is internet-based stuff. They also work in artificial intelligence, uh, and then they also dip into filmmaking and entertainment, and they will be an investor to studios that are looking for more money to raise to uh, help fund their movies. So Venom, we thought was going to be around, you know, $70 million, uh, but it looks like it was up, you know, got up to $100 million, which is a uh, surprised me a little bit. I thought they were trying to stay under that marker, but I guess if some of that money came from Tencent uh, to help, you know, improve special effects or visual effects or um, add a couple things, you know, to the movie or whatever, uh, that makes a lot of sense to me. And then we don't know what the marketing budget is, but typically uh, it's around, you know, a uh, twice of what the budget is so you know if it's a hundred million dollar movie maybe they're paying a 200 million to you know promote it which would put it around the 300 million marker that it has to make back to break even uh but i don't know because we haven't seen a ton of promotion on this movie so i would even garner to say that or i would even make a guess a, you know, a slightly educated guess that this movie is probably spending around 100 million to market um and, but again i don't know for sure i'm just going off of you know we've seen marketing for this movie for sure and we've seen them reach out and do different things uh but not a ton you you know, not, not as much as most movies of this caliber, uh, not even as much as like Deadpool or Logan did, in my opinion. So uh, so this seems like, it, you know, it could be them saving money on marketing. And we saw also new posters, which we'll, we'll talk about in another video uh, that fans are making that every website out there thinks is legit posters for the movie. Uh, but obviously they don't spend, you know, five minutes to do their research or read, you know, what the Venom movie tweets uh, before they make their articles. Uh, but we do here. So we'll talk about that in another episode. Uh, but Tencent, so, you know, having them involved probably helped raise a little bit more money for this movie and that adds pressure to Sony because when Sony comes out and decides hey we're gonna make a movie they don't raise the whole budget by themselves let's say they think all right the movie's gonna be about 70 million dollars so they'll try to raise you know half of that or, or come up with half of that on their own or sometimes more sometimes less whatever and then what they'll do is they'll go find investors like Tencent here and what they'll do is they'll come in and say all right we believe in this project but if we you know you have to guarantee us that it's gonna make this amount of money it's gonna make our money back if we give you 40 million dollars to put towards you know uh, making this film you have to guarantee that we're gonna get that 40 million back and then some and so it's a very high stress situation from the money side of filmmaking you know not even just the creative side and that's why a lot of hands are on movies because it's not just the creative people making the movie that are you know 
they're trying to do their best at what they can do and try to deliver the best movie they can. But it's also, you know, money and, and business people coming in and going, well, we have to, you know, tweak this or do that or play, you know, in this scene, do this because it's a little bit more safe because, you know, more audiences might react to it or whatever, uh, because we need to make sure that it has good word of mouth. We, you know, it's like there's a lot of pressure on movies. And I think sometimes people don't think about that uh, and they think just, you know, m money just grows on trees and these people can just keep making movies. Uh, that's not true. And we're seeing nowadays, the, you know, studios being bought out by other studios like Disney buying out other people because of the lack of success and the lack of money that those studios seem to be able to raise on their own sometimes. And it's not just that. It's that's not the sole reason sometimes these buyouts happen, but it is a, a factor in it. Uh, so hearing here on this Hollywood Reporter article that it's a $100 million budget is pretty neat. It's just, it's great to have that info because a lot of us were wondering about it. So I want to know what you guys think. Uh, you know, do you think that's too much? Do you think it puts them in a situation where they can't make their money back? Obviously, if they have a $65 million opening weekend, that'll be good if their budget's $100 million. Uh, typically, what happens is opening weekend, you know, the studio will get about maybe half or close to half of ticket prices. So if it makes $60 million opening weekend, that's $30 million towards that $100 million, and that's just here in the U.S. And if Tencent is involved, obviously, they're going to push this thing really hard over in China. China, uh, and they're going to, you know, use some of their own money uh, to help promote it too, uh, to an extent and, uh, and and get that movie out there and hopefully, you know, get a big, you know, reaction in China for it and make that investment back, obviously. Um, so, you know, there's a chance that, you know, and I don't know for sure because we don't know the marketing budget for the movie, but I'm going to guess maybe it's around 100 to 150 million, maybe less. So that puts this movie, you know, to have to earn around 250 to 300 million to break even. And uh, that's a pretty good spot to be in, especially if this movie has good word of mouth. Uh, I think they could make that back, especially worldwide. So you guys let me know what you think of this information and give a shout out to our friend Lance. I'll put a link down below to his Twitter account so you can uh, follow him on there. And he's been posting a lot of cool Venom stuff over the past few weeks, as a lot of you have. And I'll talk about more of you in future videos as we go through some of the stuff I got to make today. So again, let me know your thoughts down below. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.